Christmas is going to be coming early for a couple of you today. We're going to be announcing the winners of the Chili Chump Big and Tall competition for 2023. This is a competition for the heaviest chili as well as a competition for the longest chili. So there's two prizes up for grabs. And originally the prizes were going to be the LPH Max from Let Pot, which is a hydroponic system. I actually use it quite a bit down here. Uh, I use it in the beginning of the season. It works fantastically. It's an automated hydroponics sort of system. Uh, actually, I have a brand new one sitting right here. It's a revised version, and this is the version that you guys will be receiving. Now, there is actually an option. So you can choose to have that. If you're not into hydroponics, then that's fine. You do have a second option, which is an automatic drip system. So you really have the choice of both. I know which one I would choose. Definitely the LPH Max. Let's get straight into it. Let's see who has won the competition for the longest chili or the tallest chili. This is a Thunder Mountain Longhorn grown by Fred Matteson. He lives out in New Jersey in the US and he started the plant indoors on January the 22nd. He then transplanted the plant outside directly into the ground on May 5th. He fertilized it once a week with miracle Grow Blue Crystal Fertilizer for about two months and then let it grow naturally from there on. This video was taken on September the 9th. Looks like you got it almost 17 inches. Come from the 16 and three quarter inches. Top. Well done, Fred. That is seriously long, uh, coming on half a meter almost, uh, 425.45 millimeters. That is really well done. I do have an honorable mention. There was a second place. Uh, unfortunately, no prizes for second place this year. And that goes to Robert Fogg. He came in with also a Thunder Mountain Longhorn measuring at 409.575 millimeters. I think my longest chili this year was actually a spaghetti chili. And that was about 390 millimeters. So nowhere near these guys. Very well done to both of you. And yeah, Fred, I'll get in touch with you on email and you can make your choice about which system you would prefer. We'll get that shipped right out to you. Before we move on to the heaviest chili, which is an absolute beast this year. Um, I did want to mention that over on my second channel, Chili Chump 2, I'll leave a link down below in the description. There is a video I just put out. I was fortunate enough to have a conversation with Jim from Let Pot. He's the CTO at Let Pot, and we had a great conversation. It's not a long video. It comes in around eight minutes, but yeah, drink a cup of coffee and listen to it and see what he has to say. It was great fun just to be able to have a conversation with him. I kind of work in the tech industry as well. And uh, just being able to talk to someone like him was, was a real privilege. Uh, there was a little bit of a language barrier at times, but uh, we got through it in the end and I think we had a, a common understanding. Uh, it must be a lot of fun to be doing something that you're passionate about, not only from the tech side, but also from the ag agricultural side, which is kind of what I'm doing out here on the Chili Chump Ranch. Let's move on to the heaviest chili. This thing, seriously, very impressive. This is a Spanish giant grown by Jonas Bondesen. He started the seeds in mid-February and moved them out into the greenhouse at the end of April when it was at least eight degrees outside. The greenhouse is insulated and for safety, they have a heater that kicks in when it's needed. So basically just frost protection. They keep the water in the hydroponic system at 20 degrees Celsius and the pH around about six. The nutrients they use is Canna Aqua Flores and Canna Aqua Viga. Jonas, well done. 491 grams. That is seriously impressive. Last year's winner was also a Spanish giant. So it seems to be the chili to go for if you want to grow some seriously heavy chilies. Uh, just to clarify, so Guinness World Records, they kind of... <sighs> they, they've said that the world record for the heaviest chili, I think it was 420 grams, it was poblano. Has some weird uh, criteria for how they set their records and stuff. So very well done, Jonas. Uh, I did have an honorable mention. Last year's winner was Stein Schwach, and she also grew a Spanish giant. So definitely is the uh, chili to go for if you want to grow some heavy chilies. She had an entry this year, and it actually puts into perspective just how big Jonas's was. Hers came in 100 grams under Jonas. It was smaller than what she had last year. 
but still it was the second biggest this year at 390 grams so well done stein uh, but yeah that 491 uh, grams from jonas seriously impressive uh, again i'll send an email to you and we'll sort out where which prize you want to get you can tell me which you prefer i, I, have, a, I have a guess that you're going to go for the lph maxine that you do grow in hydroponics so it'll definitely help you out there this is probably going to be the last video for this year i'm going to try and shut down a little bit relax with my family uh, any orders you make on chilichumpseeds.com or chilichump.com forward slash shop uh, those orders will go out on the third or fourth of january so yeah, next week it's taking a bit of a break and I hope that you guys are as well enjoying time with family and friends and I hope that you have a fantastic new year. 2024 is going to be incredible. I cannot wait to get started. I'm actually inside my potting shed right now where I'm going to be getting all my seeds going in just a little while and you'll be spending a lot of time with me in here I'm sure while we, uh, while we get our seeds started for 2024. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and until then, stay spicy.